Well, the next time I bring you back to the cruiser, it'll have the suspension done and the GVM upgrade. So we'll have a look then, eh? Public Way Bridge, Bundaberg Regional Council. Just coming to measure the cruiser up for weight before we go to our Toowoomba, fueled up. Just so we can do a comparison between before and after the uh, upgrades. Scales coming up on the right hand side. 2.88 ton. I'll zoom in so I can have a look. Just pulling up to DMW, that's where you need to be. People like me. So we go in here, vehicle drop off. Last time I was in here, bloody uh, Rubens four wheel drive was just here on the right, but it's not today. Yeah, we'll drop in. It's got a few cars in here, patrols. Yeah, there's a chops patrol right in front of us. Who knows nothing about us, so I guess we'll find out. Last look at before we see it in uh, two weeks. Check it out then too, eh? Back at the Way Bridge at uh, Bundaberg Regional Council Way Station. Um, you might recall that the pre-way before the work done on the car was 2.88 tonnes, so we'll um, measure up and see how much it is after this work. Alright, let's have a look. Point nine two. So it's picked up 40 kilos. Starting from the back, walking to working towards the front, we'll go through what DMW installed as part of their 4499 kilo GVM upgrade on this 79. D Wiz diff made down in Harvey Bay, Maryborough. You can buy these diff centers or diff housings directly from them in kit form. They're about um, five grand from memory. They come with some pro molly axles the rest of the hardware you're going to supply what i do like about them is uh, the spring hang on it's nice and flush at the bottom whereas the original like the ome and the toyota ones have big nuts and um threaded u-bolts hanging out the bottom the leaf spring pack has 10 leaves in it they're about 95 mil from top to bottom which is just a little bit more than the ome old man emu which is about 92 millimeters the adjustable three-way adjustable shocks give you a look the remote res at the top two adjustments there and there's another adjustment down the bottom here the rebound adjustment airbag man airbags are installed as well as part of this kit just outside now on the chassis they've uh, braced the chassis on the outside that bracing goes from there down to there we'll go and have a look on the inside inside bracing starts at this cross member goes all the way through to above uh, the airbags so it's fully welded off they don't supply a sway bar with the gvm upgrade Old Man Emu made it a requirement to have a sway bar as part of their kit for their 3950 kilo upgrade on this model Land Cruiser. Braided brake lines are required, I already had those. I already had the airbags as well. Moving forward, prior to taking the DMW, I had bushes replaced in the trailing arms. I didn't do the pan hard rod. I was told by DMW. That they wouldn't be replacing bushes but they in fact have there's original bushes that i replaced before dmw touched it and they've put in new bushes up the front left the sway bar bushes in put in some spaces front springs and shock absorbers pretty similar to the rear again three-way adjustable the right remote res is up the top there and um Coil springs. New pan hard, it's an adjustable one. Certainly um probably a good half size diameter larger than the original. New steering damner as well. You need to have load rated rims and tires. The tires need to be a load rating of 121 or greater. 
and the rims need to have a capacity of 1500 kilos or greater. I was told that by DMW that the old rims weren't rated for this GVM upgrade and we had to buy some new ones. Now, DMW do sell rim and tyre packages. Um, it's cheaper to buy your own, trust me. On that, do your own costing. DMW um, recommend 18 inch rims. I've got 17 inch rims, originals are 16. Now the reason I went for 17 is when I um, checked out tyre availability at 18 inch, I was limited in what sort of tyres were available. At 17 inch, there's a whole lot more um, availability in different types of tyres. So that's why I went 17 inch. I still kept the same uh, profile, so they're just a shade under 33 inch. Don't forget the new side blinkers as well that they put in. Well, that's what I had fitted in this installation. Cost, uh, including labour, about 15 grand. DMW will sell you this package for the 4499 kilo GVM upgrade for about 25 grand. Why the difference? I had the airbags and they require a different type of uh, brake booster which I also had installed. I'll show you what that is. Mark's four-wheel drive hydraulic booster. This runs off the power steering pump. There's two high pressure lines and a low pressure return line. Power steering pump is down there. So they require that installed as well. That's a mod to brake so it needs a um, LG2 um, mod plate which is this one here DMW uh, mod plate L515 and LB2 GVM upgrade 4499 and they haven't rubbed out the GCM so I don't know why that is um, I've left them a message and they haven't responded this mod, mod stick is from the Old Man Emu, rear 2410 10 kilos, front 1540. With the 4499, the rear axle goes up to 2900. I'll show you there, it'll stick off shortly. This is the um, DMW sticker. It's got the approval number upgraded GVM to 4499 kilos, maximum towing mass 3500 kilos. So that doesn't change. Maximum allowed front wheel weight 1640, so it goes up marginally from the old man emu one. Um, rear axle weight to 2900 kilos. That D Wiz diff housing is rated at 3020 kilos. And total load capacity that's a GCM 7999 kilos. Um, even though that's on a sticker, each state and territory regulates the GCM, so it isn't an automatic GCM upgrade. For those of you who are interested and want to continue watching, the reason I got this GCM or GVM upgrade is because when I was hooked up to my camper earlier this year, the rear axle loading was about 450 kilos overweight. So I needed to punch that up. The ball weight from um, the caravan was sitting at about 342 kilos, so eight kilos under. When I was fully uh, loaded and weighed, my rear axle weight was 2,869 kilos. Um, with the GVM upgrade, I've added 40 kilos, so I'm going to assume that that's been pumped onto the back. Probably hasn't. So there'll be 2,909 kilos, which means on this current GVM upgrade, it'll be 9 kilos overweight on the rear axle as I was loaded earlier this year. My GCM, um, it's 6,800 kilos, that's the regulated amount. When I was weighed up uh, and adding that 40 kilos, 6,480. So I'm still a good 320 kilos under the GCM. My uh, GVM, which is now 4,499, was 4,102 kilos. Again, adding that 40 kilos, so I'm still about... You know, 400 kilos under my G GVM as well, so plenty of um, leeway there, but it's all over the front axle. Uh, final note, uh, this is a DMW product that I've uh, had installed on the car. Um, 
they've done great workmanship, don't get me wrong there. Uh, just a, a little sour note, I suppose. We travelled um, six, six hours down to Toowoomba uh, to pick up the Land Cruiser on the date they said it'd be available. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, took a little bit of convincing, but eventually they, uh, they agreed to put us up in a motel overnight. Dealing with their salespeople, great initial contact and response. Um, after that, um, less than satisfactory. Uh, Post-sale, uh, when I picked it up, I was driving up to Kenilworth and the ABS light came and I took a picture and sent it off to the sales rep. He, was, he said in a response text that he'd get um, the service person to contact me and I suggested a particular date and time, uh, time period. Um, they didn't contact me. Uh, I played with the wiring. Uh, I think it was just a loose connection and it's gone away anyhow. But um, response, as I say, heading towards um, optimal, you know, if out of a one to ten, ten being the best, one being shit, absolutely shit house, um, four or five. Now I only raise these, th these last comments as my experience with DMW and they may not be reflective of anybody else's experience. But you know when you're spending a bit of um, coin and I'm in 15 grand, not um, loose change in anybody's language and a lot of people will be spending a shitload more money than I have or plus than I have and they may be getting um, a commensurate amount of more um, service from DMW than uh, our experience. So it's a, a personal experience, it's uh, very subjective. Uh, again, at the moment I can't fault uh, the product, it's um, pretty good workmanship.